Hey guys, today we have a special challenge from Dr. Kincaid. He argues that in order to unite Christianity, Catholics have to intimately know the sacred scriptures. Hope you enjoy. The way we're going to be able to most effectively bring reunification with Protestants and Catholics is that Catholics really know the Bible. Because you know what? Until we do, most won't come. Now, I say that as a convert myself, and my father-in-law is the president of Covenant Seminary in St. Louis, which is one of the biggest Protestant denominations in the United States, or at least pro Protestant seminaries, and the denomination is the Presbyterian Church in America. I have a profound love for the heritage I got there because I was soaked in Scripture. And Protestants love the Bible, and so they should, particularly Calvinists, Lutherans, Wesleyans, these traditions are soaked in the Bible. If we say we want unity in the new evangelization, that we're going to preach to other Christians, if we don't know the Bible, it's like you're going to a gunfight with a water pistol. And I think a lot of Catholics go with super soakers. <laughs> it's time to take a gun. Right? And the gun is the word of God. But it, we have to also use the gun on Catholics. Right? Biblical catechesis also has to start with a new evangelization because with the new evangelization, what's it about? It's teaching the faith to fallen away Catholics. What often happens with fallen away Catholics? They either are poorly catechized or they're converted by Protestants. Some Protestant denominations are so chock full with Catholics. And in fact, one of the most successful parishes in Southern California is Grace Community Church. John MacArthur is the pastor. At one time, more than half were former Catholics. That's scandalous. But it also shows what? They're receptive. They've received the sacraments. What they didn't get was... Scripture-soaked catechesis. So that's our task. Hey guys, if you want to take Dr. Kincaid's challenge to heart, I recommend you check out some of our weekly scripture reflections from Father Richard Pagano. We've also got other amazing content on engaging the culture from a Catholic perspective. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.